So Kenny, looking back on the past week, a result at Gillingham and a result with Sunderland and into the playoffs, how significant can that be in the context of this season? And some very good performances in that as well, both individually, but most importantly for me as a manager, as a team, uh, they are good results. We saw them through very well. We worked hard to do that, but as ever again as a manager, you're always looking to build on what you can do. And um, we've worked hard last week. We want to follow it up now with two home games, uh, Northampton and Charlton. Difficult games in their own right, uh, slightly different games, both of them, um, you know, in terms of the opposition's approach. But again, you know, I really do want to build on, you know, what's um, been a good points total so far. Yeah, looking ahead to Northampton, they've obviously not had the best results since coming up to League One, but do you feel that for their players, this will be a, a big one for them and that they'll be up for it coming to Fratton Park? Yeah, very much so. And and they'll be looking to uh, get a foothold in the division. You always do when you first come up. It can, there can be some adjustments. Maybe you lose one or two players and uh, the, the team's then looking to uh, adjust to League One, but they'll do that. They've got an experienced manager, a very good staff. And, and in terms of the players, you know, they'll get, um, I'm sure, every... You know, every bit of information on us to be able to see if they can just, just uh, get a foothold in the division and, and turn the corner. Your away form so far has been better than the home form, but at Fratton you, you haven't been a million miles away in the games and they've been tight games as well. They have, and I, I don't think in terms of um, results, the home and the way has been proved right the way through football, but with our games, um, there hasn't been a clear advantage. And, and you know since the crowd has, has been out, there's been some big decisions that have that, that, that haven't gone there that would have I felt you know going right back to the, the first half in the Oxford game and uh, but that's the same for everybody so it's evened it out in terms of homes and away you know we understand that and, and you know we, we have to make sure we adapt and adjust and, and you know I do believe that if you're the best team on the day most of the time you win and that's all you have to concentrate on just in terms of injury news, what's the latest on Ellis Harrison and Michael Jacobs as well, who came off on Saturday? Yeah, Ellis is training this morning. Whether he makes uh, Tuesday or Saturday, we'll see. I would think it will be more likely to be Saturday. Uh, but, um, you know, we'll be careful with him. Rehabilitation for a hamstring is a big one. And generally the rules are um, that uh, you have a full week's training. But he, he is confident in himself and, and, and pushing to come back in, which is good. And, and we'll assess this week to see exactly when that is. For Michael Jacobs, it's not particularly good news and um, you know he certainly won't play this week he'll have a scan today but initial reactions are sort of four to six weeks that's the uh, the physio's assessment John Marcus and Marcus Harness deservedly made it into the League One team of the week is that a partnership that you feel can go from strength to strength from here yeah I felt for, for Marcus he's you know he's a good player and can have a key you know key impact this year and and while he plays on the right and produces great crosses um, th through the middle, he's a big goal threat, and, and, and he is a player that does go off goals. You know, similar to Ronan Curtis, really. But you know, when they're scoring and when they're getting shots in, they, they see that as a contribution and, and, and what they do best. So, you know, for Marcus, giving him that freedom has worked for us so far, and, and you know, obviously for John, you know, I've been really pleased with his his work rate, his commitment, his closing down has been fantastic. But again. Uh, uh, goals will give him confidence as well and, and you know with as you say Ellis coming back Jordi Harula coming in you know we do feel that uh, if we play that system we have some, some, some good options up front some good depth uh, and then importantly then what, what you do need then is to build up enough substitutes to be able to, su to sustain it Just finally Kenny away from Northampton tomorrow night is the FA Cup draw any preference on who you get? Again you would want to um, a home draw but we've had, we've had good runs in the Cups we'd love to do it again it's coming up as you say pretty quickly but um, you know to, to keep away from the travelling and to, to, to stay in a home draw would be ideal for me as a manager